How does Windows decide which network connection to use when it has two connections active at the same time? In most cases, this will probably be a computer with both a wired and wireless connection, but Windows uses the same logic to determine which connection to use, whether it's one wired and one wireless connection, two wired connections, two wireless connections, or really a mix of any number of connections of any type. And the mechanism that Windows uses to determine which connection to use is called metric. If we take a look at this page from Microsoft, you can see that the metric here is just a number. This number is calculated automatically based on the speed of the network connection. So starting at the top here, you can see if a Windows machine has a 2 gigabit network connection, which is pretty fast, it will be assigned a metric of 25. And as we go down the chart and see connections of slower and slower speeds, the metric goes higher and higher. That's because the metric is what's known as a cost. And just as a customer prefers to purchase a product with the lowest cost, Windows prefers to use the network connection with the lowest cost. In most cases, allowing Windows to use the default settings, which will prefer the fastest connection, will probably lead to the best experience. But there are edge cases where it may be preferable to use a slower connection instead. This can be accomplished by a few very simple changes where we change the default metrics to values that we specify. And I'll go ahead and show how to do that now. Just to show how this works under the hood, I'm gonna open up the command prompt. I'm gonna run the command route print. And if we look at these routes at the top here with all zeros, these are known as default routes. These are the routes that Windows uses for connectivity to the internet. Based on the IP addresses, I know that this route is my wired connection with a metric of 25, and this route is my wireless connection with a metric of 35. And again, they were calculated this way because the wired connection is faster. So in this example, I'm gonna change the metrics so that the wireless connection is preferred. To do that, just go to the control panel and then into network connections. I'm gonna start with the wired connection. Just right click on that, go to properties, TCP IPv4, Properties again, and Advanced. By default, this box for automatic metric will be checked. Just uncheck it, and I'm gonna set a value here of 50, and then hit OK, and close out of the other windows. Next, I'm gonna to go to the wireless connection, right-click, Properties, TCP IPv4 again, Properties again, Advanced again. Uncheck Automatic Metric, and this time I'm gonna set it to a value of 30. And there's nothing special about these values that I'm setting, I'm just making them up. Again, the idea is just that we have to tell Windows that the wireless connection has a lower cost than the wired connection, so that the wireless connection will be preferred. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and close out of the other windows. Now if I go back to my command prompt screen and hit the up arrow to run the route print command one more time, we can now see that the metrics that we set have taken effect. So the wired connection has its metric of 50, the wireless connection has its metric of 30, which makes the wireless connection preferred. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hit like if this helped you out, and thanks for watching.